denied any involvement. Now the Kremlin has demanded an apology from the UK. Let's speak to Athol Johnson, who is a toxicology expert and professor of clinical pharmacology at the Queen Mary University of London, joins me now in the studio. Good to have you with us. Um, first of all, let's just try and clear something up, because you had this situation where UK scientists were saying this is military-grade Novichok nerve agent, and it was likely to come from Russia. Now British scientists are saying, actually, we can't tell where it's come from. Well, I don't think they can actually tell where it's come from because it's just a chemical. And once it's a chemical, once you detect it, it's just there as a chemical and the chemical could have come from anywhere. So identifying it as Russian is supposition, knowing what they know about the Russian um, facilities and their so ability to produce things. In your opinion, did, Russia, uh, did British scientists jump the gun then when they said Moscow is to blame. I think you'll find it wasn't the British scientists who are necessarily jumping right. the gun, but rather the Foreign Office or, or whoever's making the statements, the government are making the statements that it came from Russia. And they're doing that based on their knowledge of who could have had a material like this. Right. So Moscow is obviously saying that it wasn't responsible. Um, but given the, uh, the, the dangerous nature of this, this nerve agent and the fact that it is said to be military grade, presumably only a few actors state actors would have access to it. Yes, you're not going to make this in your kitchen. This is a, a major uh, toxin, very, very dangerous indeed. Uh, very small amounts can kill you or, or, or poison you, uh, and you could easily contaminate uh, a whole laboratory with it, with it if you didn't know what you were doing. Is this something that's been used before? Have there been investigations over this before? Well, of course, not necessarily for Russia, but the North Koreans are, are implicated in poisoning uh, Kim Jong. Kim Jong Jong, I think it is, uh, the brother of, of uh, the current leader of North Korea. Uh, whether or not it was them or not, we don't know, but VX, which is another nerve agent, was implicated in that. So how concerned should we be about stockpiles of nerve agents like VX and Novichox? Well, it depends what you mean by stockpiles. You don't need much of this material to, to kill someone. Uh, it, it's very, very toxic indeed, so very small amounts can, can kill you. So the fact that the OPCW uh, yes. is now involved, um, what is it that uh, they would be hoping to do as part of this investigation? Well, they would be hoping to try and tie it down to who, who had supplied this material uh, and where did it come from. But I think they've got a very difficult task to do that because all that will be left will be a trace of the material either, for example, on the door handle of um, the, the Russian's house or in the blood of, of um, the Russian and, and his daughter. And as you say, no definitive footprint to say exactly where this came from? No, unless there's some sort of contamination which, which is, they know is, is linked to Russia. I don't think there's any way they can tie it to Russia. So in terms of um, legislation and restrictions on, on, on these kind of substances, where are we with that? <laughs> well, I mean, murder is not, not uh, legal in this country, uh, and yet we've had 51, I think it is, this year already. So it, it, you can legislate all you like, but uh, if you can't control this, it's going to keep happening. Interesting stuff. Thank you very much indeed for speaking with us. Appreciate your time. Uh, Professor Athol Johnson there.